Hello students, today our class is about the band Pink Floyd with the song Have a Cigar from the legendary album Wish You Were Here released in 1975. Um, Guys, we begin, no complaining, if you're gonna complain, we're not gonna have a deal. Remember the very serious rules, okay? I'm a very serious teacher, it's a very, very, very serious class and not the jokes about my accent because it's very serious accent. Yes, I'm talking exactly like that all the time, yes. So, beginning. Have a cigar. Okay, we need to stop. We can't not stop, you know, right? Oh, you don't know. You don't know about YouTube copyrights policy. Okay, you can read, read. It's your home assignment. So, first interesting fact. There was a story while they were recording Have a Cigar. David's voice didn't produce that, you know, tone to sing the song. Roger Waters, the songwriter of it, and well, you know, I can compare Roger Waters singing with Bob Dylan's singing. Let's be honest, they are not good singers. I love Roger Waters and especially his I'm Used to Death album, but he like, I'm used to death, to death. it was a greatest show on earth, but now it's so. <laughs> he is awesome, genius, crazy guy, ego driven, of course, but damn. No, he's not a gifted singer. Of course, I believe if you love Pink Floyd, you love David Gilmer's voice. And I love his tone. It's such a unique timbre, very tasty. But he's not singing like Dio, you know, he's not screaming or using very power hole. But he don't need, and their music not about it and he is gifted guitar player. So the thing is that they recorded this, have a cigar, and something doesn't work. And like, there was a Roy Harper in the studio who was a folk singer and he tried and it worked. And basically this song has his voice. And another thing that Roger Waters was very bitter about it, like, I could sing it, I could sing it, I just needed to warm up my voice this day. <laughs> uh, you know? Yes.
Okay. Come in here, dear boy. Have a cigar. We're gonna go far. You gonna fly. You never gonna die. If you gonna make it, if you try, they gonna love you. We'll always had a deep respect. And I mean that most sincere. The band is just fantastic. That is really what I think. Oh, by the way, which one's pink? Waters has a kind of sense of humor, right? And he sarcastically explain, obviously, here the situation with all these producers, record companies who doesn't care who you are. They even doesn't bother to dive deeper in the band history and know about you more. They just want to earn money. Such a Talentless pieces of crap who wanted to take some talented guys and earn, you know. And did we tell you the name of the Game Boy? We call it Riding the Gravy Train. And it so speaks to me. I had so many different situations when it's just not about art, not about artist, singer, or that face who gonna work. It's just about money-hungry industries. They just want to earn on you. They don't care. They don't care about the art. This is the damn problem. And this industry is killing creativity of the artists because artists, usually 90%, they don't have balls and that strong personality to survive that pressure and they kind of breaking and at some point they started to be addictive because they unhappy because they don't really do actually what they want some dude in the suit decide for him and he started to just slowly die and not really produce what he was gifted with <laughs> It was the beginning of Wish You Were Here. And I think it's such a unique album because it's just five songs, but every single song is something like legendary. It's two parts of the Shine On You Crazy Diamond with like 26 minutes long combined and Wish You Were Here and Have a Cigar. And I actually just, just really want, really love Welcome to the Machine.
yes, it's not a secret here. Everybody knows that Pink Floyd is my favorite band, right? I remember the day when I fell in love, when I just fell in love. It's literally affected my life. And the song was High Hopes from Division Bell. Of course, many people would, oh, Division Bell, it's not even Pink Floyd because it doesn't have Roger Waters, na na na. But this album, for me, incredible. And the High Hopes is just the song that makes me cry and be happy every single time okay have a cigar okay have a cigar okay even if you're not smoking you now need to smoke with me because i'm a producer here and i need some respect from you okay boy don't worry i'll do everything for you but don't disappoint me i'm just a girl living in the pinky world because Whoa, which one is pink? So I'm a pinky girl. I'm living in the world of pinky Barbie and do 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 Ah, uh, energetic psycho cactus. I have a, a playlist called Psycho Cactus. Mm -hmm. So, guys. Tell me, what do you feel when you listen to this song? It's a, such a cool groove vibe, a little jazzy and a certain mood. And you feel playful. It's cool. But deeper, if you think about it, it's actually so much drama to the artist right there who experiences in that very situation. It just can break people. They are not always strong enough mentally to survive such a pressure. And you know that lie when you see that guy who doing for you so much, he doesn't care about you, not appreciate you. But in the same time, we all understand it's a business. And when you need somebody to take care of that rest of the stuff, managing and uh, marketing, you understand that it's about the business. You understand that somebody kind of do for you a job, but you also give him money and percent of what he earns. In some cases, win-win, but in most of the cases, kind of exploitation. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. We're still going to do our reviews for Pink Floyd. So thank you for watching the video. Mwah! Have a good, good day.